What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Casper's Kicks once again. Hope y'all are doing well, staying safe, staying blessed, enjoying this weekend. Hopefully things are going smoothly for you. If not, I hope things get better for you. So, today for y'all, I actually do have an interesting shoe. It's something that I have never covered on my channel before, so I'm stepping into a new realm. Hopefully, those that aren't familiar with the shoe, you do like this review. If you are familiar with this shoe, hopefully you do like the review as well. Fair warning, I don't know a ton of information about the shoe just because I've never owned a pair of them. So I'm looking for y'all's feedback. If, if you know more information about the shoe than what I cover in the video, please leave it in the comments so anybody that watches knows what's going on with this shoe. Now, uh, like I mentioned, this is out my realm. So today with me, I have the New Balance Joe Fresh Good Inside Voices, and I have with me the Baby Shower Blue colorway, which was the Joe Fresh Goods exclusive colorway. Um, so that is what I'm going to be covering today for y'all, like I mentioned. Hopefully, y'all enjoy it, but let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright, so like I mentioned today, I have with me the New Balance and Joe Fresh Good 99-90-60 Inside Voices collab. And if you're not familiar with this collab campaign, they came with two different shoes. One being the Penny Cookie Pink colorway, and then the Joe Fresh Goods exclusive colorway, which was the, which was the Baby Shower Blue, which I have with me today. Now... Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I've never owned a pair of New Balances and the reason I have this pair with me today is one of my friends actually hit me up to get her a pair and I was able to get a pair. So before I shipped them off to her, I was like, might as well make a review on it, see if people are interested in New Balances um, because New Balances have been very popular recently and people have been going crazy, especially for these Joe Fresh Good collabs that he has been doing. So I was like, let's make a quick video over it. So. Um, in terms of the Inside Voices collab, there is a little bit of a story behind it. And if you're not familiar with Joe Fresh Goods, he is actually a designer from Chicago. Uh, I, I've just been hearing his voice. I mean, his. I've been hearing about him recently because of all the collabs he's been doing with New Balances. And like I mentioned, people have been buying them up, and they've been reselling for pretty good money. So about this Inside Voices collab or campaign, uh, I found an article from Soul Savvy just kind of breaking down what exactly this campaign was. Uh, but it says Inside Voices is the follow-up of Outside Clothes, which was another campaign that he did with New Balance. Uh, and then continues on. it continues on. I want my community to feel represented in the emotions and intimate moments captured in my campaigns, Joe Fresh Good said. There's nothing like warmth and, la and laughter shared around a table once you're inside with loved ones. Shutting out the world and focus focusing on what really matters is what this campaign is about. So that's where you get the Inside Voices behind everything. So pretty interesting now I'm not gonna lie this shoe is is very nice it's got some nice quality to it now to give y'all a little bit of backstory like it's, it's almost been a month since this shoot did come out so originally they're supposed to release on May 16th and they were releasing on Instagram and I believe both colorways were on there the penny cookie the penny pink cookie colorway the other colorway and then the baby shower blue colorway were both releasing on Instagram on Joe Fresh Goods page. Now they ended up dropping and if you tried for the shoe that day, you know it was just crazy trying to cop their card errors. It was just a whole bunch, basically Instagram, the shop shut down and just no one was able to really check out on that day. So they had to step back and go back and basically fix some stuff on Instagrams in and then they were able to drop the shoe. I believe it was either a day or the next day later and honestly when they redropped them I had no problems checking out. I was I went for this is a size 7 so I'm sure people were going for bigger sizes to start off with so it made it a little easier to get this size here. Now let's go ahead and jump into the box. Now of course starting off this is a pretty different box than what y'all used to seeing on this channel um, but you do see the New Balance logo there and then it's this green colored box and it's pretty interesting. I like the color green that they did with this one. Um, the New Balance logo looks pretty cool. It looks like something's like ripping through the logo. Now if you go to the side of the box, so on this side it says made for us. And it says that on both sides of the box as well. And then it doesn't have anything on these sides. Now there is a New Balance on this side. And then if you look, uh, I'm tripping, that does not say new. That says Joe Fresh Goods on this side. And then if you come back over here, it has New Balance and then Joe Fresh Goods as well. Now moving to the label, the label reads, I don't even know how to read this label. Uh, it's a men's size 7 um, and just says lifestyle and it's got like a style code on here. Um, 
like I mentioned, this is this is new to me, so I'm not used to seeing this type of label compared to like the Jordans or Nike where it breaks down everything for you. So um, that is the label on this box. Now moving to the inside of the box, if I get the lid off. Um, so on the inside lid, this is the inside of the lid, and it reads, Shh, be quiet, our imaginations are speaking. So that is the inside of the lid with these. And then continuing on to the paper. So you do have some paper with the JFG, which is Joe Fresh Goods on here. It is that same green color. And then continuing inside. Uh, now, one thing I did notice, you get these two pieces of paper here. And it is wrapped, so I unwrapped it. And I wasn't sure like what exactly the purpose was it of, but it looks like it's just another piece of paper to put in the shoe. So if there's if this is meant for something else, like I did just unwrap the whole thing. If this is meant for something else, do let me know, because like I mentioned, I, I wasn't sure. I just thought it was a little weird to see that in there, but I'm sure it has its purpose, especially with New Balance. But like I mentioned, I just don't know. So I, I'd be curious to see what y'all have to say, if y'all know what it's for. All right, so that is that. So let's go ahead and jump to the shoes. And retail price on these was $180. Um, so not a bad price at all but all right so this is the baby shower blue colorway of the 9060 new balance and joe fresh good collab give you all that quick 360 of these and then give you all the now i'm not gonna lie th these were pretty nice i i wasn't sure and i i'm waiting to see if i can find the penny cookie pink colorway in person because I wasn't sure if I like these better or if I like the other colorway better. But I'm glad I was able to get these because these were the Joe Fresh Good exclusive that I did just drop on Instagram. Now, I did try for the other colorway on New Balance's website when it did drop. And that just, they were gone in like 30 seconds a minute. It went quick, so it was really no point in even trying on New Balance's website. Um, so... Will I get that other colorway? Probably not, but it is what it is. I'm not tripping really, um, just because I really don't wear New Balances. But honestly, I, I would think about wearing these if I were able to get them in my size. Now, starting on the outsole, you do have that New Balance written out in the middle, and this is a rubber outsole. So I'm sure this shoe has a lot of cushion in it. This is a pretty thick outsole, as you see here. Um, so I, I'm sure there's... A lot of cushion with this shoe so I I honestly I'm gonna I'm have to ask my friend how she feels when she puts them on and how comfortable they are um, just because I'd be curious myself um, but you do see these like diamond patterns in gray on the bottom of the shoe as well now moving to the midsole of course you do see more of the outsole with these so that thick outsole that you have and that wraps all the way around it is in this pink colorway so that does wrap all the way around the shoe you do see hints of uh, white on there as well. So like just pieces of white in the midsole as well. You do have the new balance in the front or the end in the front right there. And then I believe there's like a style code or it says AB Zorb. I'm not sure exactly what that means. If you know what that means, please let me know in the comments. Because I'm curious. <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, but continuing on, you do see it's like a greenish colorway here that splits next to that white right there in that middle portion and that green wraps all the way towards the back of the shoe now when i opened the box i did notice this clear piece which i thought was very interesting it is a, a it's hard it's like a hard plastic i believe and that's wrapped around the back of the shoe and on it it does say new balance i don't know if you'll be able to pick it up in the camera there but it does say new balance going around that clear piece now moving towards the front now the or the upper of the shoe is made up of a mixture of mesh leather and suede and I, I like I mentioned earlier at the beginning the quality on the shoe is actually very nice the suede is very soft I do like the type of suede that they put on here um, but just showing you the upper here so you do see like the mesh is pink on these so you like here you see the mesh there and then you see it on top of the toe box as well and it's just different pieces of mesh that are on here. It's a very soft mesh. And then even towards the back of the heel, you see the mesh here. And then on this side as well. 
So like I mentioned, some very soft mesh with these. And then even with the suede, it is a very, it's a rough suede, but it's a soft suede. It's really soft at the same time. So you can see the hint of suede wrapping around here. So some pieces do look a little bit more rough than the other pieces. And honestly, that doesn't bother me at all. I still think it is a um, very good looking shoe. It does have, I do like the different types of suede. Both are very soft. You can't go wrong with the type of suede that they put on these. Now, you do have the New Balance logo, just the N on both sides of the shoe. And that's on this side as well. And then continuing to the laces. So these do come with four different sets of laces. So you have, uh, it's like a pinkish, I believe, lace. And it almost matches the mesh color on here. And then the other, or maybe it's like a, a brownish or like a tan lace. Maybe not a, a light pink. And then you also have, so this is the pink lace that you get with them. And then you have, this is a white lace. And then you also have this baby shower blue lace. Now, honestly, I actually do like the laces that are in the shoe right now. I think the pink laces will look cool in these. I'm, I'm sure all these will look cool in the shoe, but I would just end up sticking with the tannish colored lace that is already in the shoe. Now, continuing on to the tongue, you do have a leather tongue. And in the middle, you do have a clear piece that reads 9060. So that is the model of the shoe. And of course, the leather tongue going around there. So pretty nice there. Um, you do have a mesh tongue. And then at the bottom of the tongue, you do have the end for New Balance. Now, continuing to the back of the shoe, at the top, it says JFG, Joe Fresh Goods, of course. And then also it says inside, right under the JFG. Now, I'll go ahead and show you all both shoes just because of what um, one, this has inside on it, and the other has Voices, which is what the collab is, the Inside Voices Collabor campaign. Um, so that is what's on the back of both shoes. So it is, that is the difference in the two. One has Inside, one has Voices on it. Now, moving to the interior of the shoe, you do have a quilted pink sock liner. It, is, it does feel pretty soft. So nice quality continues on these. And then I'll go ahead and take the insole and so you do have a paper shoe tree. And then I'll pull the insole out for y'all. So you do have, it's almost like an abstract insole and it does have JFG on there. And then this is the back of the insole as well. So there y'all go, 360 of the insole. All right, so like I mentioned, you do have a pink sock liner and then you do have um, the tongue, the tag on the back of the tongue as well. So, let me see. Yeah, just a tongue on the back of these. All right, so overall, that is the um, entire 9060 Inside Voices collab or campaign. I keep switching back and forth between campaign and collab. I, I need to pick one. Uh, but I will show you all the other shoe real quick. So, really no differences in the two outside of the writing on the back of the shoe. And of course you do have the 9060 tag here, and that's on both shoes as well. And I'll give you all the 360. This way, of course, there's the voices that's on the back of the shoe. And then continuing this way. Like I said, overall, that is the shoe. The insoles are the same as well. So let me know how y'all feel about the New Balance 9060 Joe Fresh Good Inside Voices. Were you able to cop a pair of these or did you end up passing on them? Like I said, they're actually I'm I'm interested, like I don't have a pair. I'd be curious to get a pair and see how they feel on feet. Like I mentioned, they feel pretty, like they would be pretty comfortable. If you own a pair of 9060s, let me know if these are very comfortable for you or if it's just an okay type of comfort with these. Yeah, like I mentioned, the, the outsole is thick. So I would assume it's got a lot of cushion with these. But overall, I think this is a pretty cool shoe. It's not something that I normally would go for, but if I were able to get my hands on a pair of my size, would I turn it down? No, I, I would try something different just to see how it feels and looks on feet. This is a, this is a huge outsole, so that would be my caution with this one just because the outsole is so, not, not just thick, but wide. 
and and you do have the piece sticking off the back here but like I said let me know how y'all feel about these was this a cop for you was it a pass did you have trouble trying to cop them did you even know they were dropping or are you just not a New Balance person at all? But let me know how y'all feel about them. I'd be curious to see just people's thoughts and, and where their head is on the New Balance. Of course, with all of the New Balances that have been dropping and the Joe Fresh Good collabs that we've been seeing. But overall, I appreciate y'all for stopping in. Hope y'all enjoyed this review over the New Balance 9060 Inside Voices collab. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Turn on the notification bell so you can stay today when I post new content. I should have an early review maybe post this Sunday or Monday, one of the two, but one of those days y'all should get the early review. But as always, I appreciate y'all for stopping and enjoy the rest of y'all's weekend and I'll catch y'all in the next video.